Peaky Blinders fans are divided after it was predicted that the spin-off film will be about Duke Shelby. Duke, Tommy's long-lost son, made his Peaky Blinders debut in the penultimate episode. Duke, played by Conrad Khan, was welcomed into the Shelby family before being assigned work. However, it didn't take long for Duke to settle in, with the newcomer kicking out established Shelby brother Finn, Harry Curtin, from the Peaky Blinders. After a brief argument that resulted in Billy Great's death, Duke informed the stunned Finn, you're no longer a member of the Shelby family but Order of the Peaky Blinders. Among all the bloodletting, caravan burning, and brain tumor twists, the Peaky Blinders finale delivered a low blow, the unexpected exclusion of Harry Curtin's Finn. So, why was the youngest Shelby sibling on the bad side? And what about the newly minted flat cap wearer? Keep watching the video to find out. Shelby's ships are sunk by loose lips. Remember the shocking season 5 finale when the gang's assassination attempt in Oswald Mosley was foiled? The black hat trader may have been Irish bookmaker Billy Grade who tipped off the IRA, but it was foolish Finn who had first revealed the plan to Big Mouth Billy. The two had developed bad habits at the betting shop, taking cocaine and drinking on the job. Their boozy bromance became a little too close for comfort. Finn had apparently forgotten that some matters were strictly family business. Finn had previously proven to be a liability earlier in the series. A Chinese assassin dressed as a sex worker lured Finn and held him at gunpoint with his pants down, allowing triad leader Brilliant Chang to demand a meeting with Tommy about his pure refined opium. Now that Finn's disliked new bride was wearing tweed trousers in their marriage, she was ordering him not to drink alcohol after 6 p.m. Hashtag whiskey o'clock. Tommy objected and further alienated his hen-pecked sibling by speaking Romani, a language Finn could barely understand, whereas Erasmus Duke Shelby was completely fluent. In the Battle of the Young Bucks, the newcomer was clearly on top, and he was about to carry out Tommy's cruel orders. What was Finn's punishment? Expulsion from the Shelby organization and family. While Duke has proven himself over the last few weeks, Finn has proven himself to be inept and untrustworthy. Still in cahoots with treacherous Billy, who was now acting as an inside informant for Boston Irish mob boss Jack Nelson, the pair tipped up drunk again to Arrow House, ostensibly to recover vital documents and dig up bodies. Typically, Finn and Billy treated it as a party, an opportunity to empty the wine cellar and invite girls rather than a business transaction. Duke and Isaiah Jesus, having gained Tommy and Arthur's trust, beat up Billy. They gave Finn the order to shoot him. He could walk away from this family for good if he didn't. Shake Finn revealed his two colors not only by hurling insults at Duke's mother, but also by turning the gun on Isaiah and Duke. However, instead of firing, it simply dry clicked. Duke had emptied the first two chambers, as advised by astute Charlie Strong, allowing them to witness Finn's betrayal while remaining unscathed. His fate had been sealed. Duke executed Billy and then informed Finn that he had been excommunicated by order of you know who. I will come for you. Finn snarled as he walked away in shame. Eagle Finn was always the outcast. He hadn't fought in the trenches with his elder siblings, Arthur, Tommy, and John, who had formed a close bond as brothers in arms. Their baby brother was observed to be weak and wet behind the ears. Finn lacked Shelby's ruthless nature. Does he or doesn't he? He may now have an opportunity to prove otherwise. Why was Finn Shelby so underutilized in Season 6 of Peaky Blinders? The mystery of mute Finn became a mild obsession among Peaky fans during the first few episodes of the Swan Song series. He had been seen briefly among the mourners at Polly and Ruby's funerals, but he was otherwise a shadowy figure. When stand-in boss Ada needed someone to accompany drug-addled Arthur to the Liverpool docks, she chose Finn's contemporary Isaiah without even looking at her younger brother. Had Harry Curtin, the actor, fallen out of fever? Had he lost his voice, possibly as a result of COVID? Finn had turned to mime like a Midlands, Marcel Marceau. Was he simply discarded to make room for more shots of Cillian Murphy's icy blue eyes and sculptural cheekbones? Finn got some screen time in the penultimate episode. First, Tommy revealed at a family gathering that Finn had married his sweetheart, Mary Bone, a London railway station sound like. This was met with widespread indifference, which was somewhat cruel. Tommy duly brought out and introduced long-lost son Duke, causing even more uproar and putting Finn's nose out of joint. Later in the episode, Finn brought the issue of the bright, persistent football referee to Arthur's attention. Someone else had to take responsibility once more. Finn had devolved into a spectator rather than a problem solver. Based on what we learn in the finale, we can interpret the string of omissions as Tommy and his loyal lieutenants deciding that someone wasn't steadfast enough. With regret, Finn, you're fired. Thank you for the opportunity, Lord Shelby. Who's the wife of Finn Shelby? We 
You can't help but feel like we're not done with Vince Shelby's wife, Mary, who married the youngest Shelby brother off screen and appeared for a single mute scene before disappearing again. The conversations about her indicate that Tommy, Arthur, and the rest of the gang dislike her, and she may even be one of the reasons Finn has distanced himself from the group. But why would she marry into the family in the first place if she didn't know what the gang is like? In Birmingham, the Peaky Blinders are well known. We believe she had more to offer than more episodes could have explained better, but we may never know. Or she could play a bigger role in the upcoming film, assuming Finn appears at all. What happens next to Finn Shelby? His feud with Duke appears to be continuing in the upcoming feature film. Don't be surprised if the story jumps ahead a few years to the Second World War, with Finn and Duke both in their 20s, the prime demographic for joining the army, or alternatively staying in Britain and making a fortune on the black market. A time jump could also bring Tommy's son Charles into the picture as the next generation of Peaky Blinders compete for supremacy. Finn didn't get much screen time in the series, but his story appears to be far from over. Peaky Blinders actor Harry Curtin has spoken out about the future of his character, Finn Shelby, admitting his reluctance to continue playing the role for many years despite talk of a film. Season 6 of the crime drama will be the final appearance of television for Tommy Shelby and the rest of the gang. However, there has been talk of a film to conclude the story once and for all, with creator Stephen Knight recently expressing his desire to take the story beyond the Second World War. In an interview with Metro.co.uk, Harry, 23, discussed the possibility of a feature-length release after being asked if Finn's storyline beyond the sixth season could see him enlist in the army as the youngest of the Shelby brothers. Harry admitted that he hasn't really thought about it too much, but that Finn is old enough and is a man now, becoming more and more his own person. I definitely think it could and would make sense if the storyline was to continue. I'm very much in the blue about it. The rare times I do speak to Steven, I think he's very keen on doing a movie. I'm not sure whether it'll become tangible, but it would be interesting, he said. However, he added that while he loves and respects what this season and series this entire show has given me from a practical perspective as a young actor, he wants to avoid being pigeonholed. If I continue to do this into my mid to late 20s, I think I'll prove to have quite a difficult trajectory in my career potentially, he said. So with all due respect, I want to move on and just keep that love. Leave it this year, you know what I mean? Once 2022 is over, just keep Peaky Blinders respectfully done so I can move on. The actor explained that it might be different for some of the other actors such as Cillian, who he understands is currently filming stuff. You're just very aware you don't want to pigeonhole yourself. That's my two cents on it, he added. Finn was first introduced in Season 1, and he was originally played by Alfie Evans Meese. Harry took over the role in Season 2 and has remained in it for the past 8 years. While the Peaky Blinders film is still in the works, Stephen recently extended an open invitation to Tom Holland to join the cast. When the screenwriter learned that the Spider-Man star had previously been rejected in an audition for the BBC show, he said at the Season 6 premiere, if he wants to come back for the film, we'll have him. Steven revealed in January 2021 that his plan all along was to end the Peaky Blinders journey with a film, saying, that is what is going to happen. And that's all for today's video. Do let us know your thoughts on this video in the comments below. Want to know more things about the Peaky Blinders or Thomas Shelby? Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting content and latest updates. See you in the next one. See you in the...